Hey, what's up, everybody? X Joe, eighty one X here. My drum set. Yeah, this is finally the review on it. So here we have is a rooka rooka rewind, rooka 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 rewind. Drum set's gonna have to wait. What the fuck are you doing? Well, by the power invested in me and by the power of editing. And the fact that copy and paste was invented a very long time ago. I'm going to put a link in the description of what the place looked like in March. That's the last time I videotaped the... Shop. Fucking names and shit. This is what was in the shop. That's the pegboard and... Not a lot, but it definitely fills and now everything's dusty. Thank God this thing is movable. <laughs> This thing I have to move, it's just there and cleaning right now. So a lot of you are like, what are you doing, man? It was fine the way it is. No, it was. I'm going to shut the door. I'm going to permanently shut the door. This bench is going to go on that wall. I'm going to see how disgusting it looks past that. I'll put the pegboard back up, maybe. Pow, 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 pow. I might actually reverse the bench. No, I can't. Huh. Whatever. Drum set my move. This thing I think is eight feet. This is six feet. So it's gonna come to like here. And then the pegboard I could leave. Maybe I'll leave it and I'll store stuff behind here. This way I don't have to chooch up. Maybe I'll just trim it. I don't know. I got a fart. Oops. Weather outside is frightful. Don't flag the YouTube video, you suck dick hole. Alright, I'm just showing you what I'm doing. Obviously, I'm going to have to move this light that way. This is going to be the switch. I'm not moving the switch. And I might take the light, come out with it, and put an outlet over here. So you could uh, use a, a device or a heat gun or a blowtorch or some kind of dog shit. Alright. Oh. Oh, zoom. Ciao for now, eh? Alrighty. Some time later. By the power invested in editing. Whew. This is what the end result of the project that I did. Let me just move the laundry here and get this out of the way. And this is what the basement looks like January 2016. Obviously, completely irrelevant what my uh, first project is. But, you know, Christmas is, uh, came and went, and there was a lot of boxes. And these are random fans. If you guys want any of them or can tell me what to do with them, I'll wait for a couple of comments. This is completely brass and is like 50 pounds, so that might just stay somewhere. These are just old school fans. They're not that heavy. Hampton Bay, Home Depot style brands. Some stuff made it over there. This wood and pegboard have to make it to the um, shed, but it's the winter, so that could wait. And plus, the wood is better down there. Oh, it's nice. Yes, it leaks when it rains. It comes up from the corner. It's not like bubbling or anything. And no, oh, that ruined the drywall now. Yep, that's garbage. That guitar I'm gonna have to move after I shut this video off. The wood, uh, no, the wood's not bad because then the wood will eventually dry. Uh, this is the worst it's been. Uh, and with the rain, we could hear stuff. I could hear something in there. You know, if you could hear it. Oh, that's just the uh, water dripping on the pipe outside. It's exposed like six inches right there. This you already saw a review on. This is what it looks like.
move all that drywall. I have to change the lights and gotta put that away and courtesy of JK18 gave me all these uh well he printed them. Printed all this stuff. My stuff that accumulated. It's an alarm clock that I have to get back to him or not. It's just out of the way. And I flipped the desk. Some random tools. Some hooks are being used, you know. Everyday tools. Replaced the chandelier, so that's the uh, light that was in the kitchen, dining room. And this is the uh, electrical stuff and the wires and and uh, compressor. That's where it made up. But this is what I'm really proud of. Took the pegboard. I had a piece of pegboard which actually fit right there and then I cut this pegboard and it fit to fit there and this is if you've been watching my channel just the Harbor Freight stuff over the last two years that are free the bulbs obviously are not but this was all free and obviously I had to purchase some of this stuff but some batteries obviously the lights the meters were free the scissors were free these three lights were free a shitload of screwdrivers were free. That's free. I actually purchased. It's one of my first couple videos. Was was actually this thing and this thing. Light bulbs. One, you know, refrigerator, stove. That's for uh, microwave. That's for the chandeliers and the sconces. We all remember that. Random tools. You know, just set just set up nice crowbars, and you need them and. These are everyday tools that if you just completely need them instead of just, you know, flatheads on the bottom, Phillips on the top, you know, a couple ding, pair of fucking angle cutters or dikes, uh, another tools, you know, your adjustable wrenches, your plumbing wrenches, uh, four hammers just in case, you know, and then this actually worked out. I found these. These actually just awesome the fact that they're fit on one peg you know so I think I'm gonna leave the door open because you could walk through you know doo -doo -doo. <laughs> this is what it looks like from this angle I really didn't have a place to put the drum set so it's just gonna stay there for now I don't think it bothers anything the uh what do you call it the um leak is actually it's raining that's actually the worst it's been it was always leaking after i moved in some kind of drainage problem over there it's got to be es uh, excavated and uh this and that because it's if it's coming up you know if it's dripping down obviously oh you could fix but if, when it comes up that means it's not draining fast enough and sometimes right here there's a gutter if the spout that goes out is not connected it, if it rains it actually comes up through the floor so um, the design of the house, which I can't go outside and show you, but these big houses, these I'm on a, what is it, a 70 by 110 or something. They create like little valleys in between the two houses. And I know I'm getting away from myself here, but... Uh, and if the valleys are not drained properly through each house, and it just obviously water finds the pass of least resistance. So if the gutter is not pushing it out, it's gonna come the water table is you know it's gonna come up and I've had it where we'd come down and there was like little bubbles you know in between so it actually is capable of completely coming up which is kind of fucked up because then you could kind of you could kind of just seal the fact that you're never going to finish this basement and if you do finish the basement you're gonna have to spend money on excavating both sides well this side doesn't matter because that's the garage but you would have to excavate in between both these houses put those huge ass six foot you know cylinders that we use in the tri-state area and then a dry well and drainage and so every time it rains 
ba ba ba. Um, but every time it rains hard, it's been raining overnight, I get this. But it usually only stops around there. This is actually the first time uh, in a while since we moved in that it's come here. Um, like I said, I don't care. You know, she moved it, I guess, when I was taping. I don't care about that. She's in the shower now because you can hear it. And uh, the drywall got wet. I'll just let it dry because wet drywall turns into paste. And I'll mentally know that I'll have to cut, you know, about an inch or two inches off these things. Because it's nice to have. This is regular drywall, you know. It's not the thick, you know, this is always good to have. So, okay, getting away from myself. Thanks for watching. This is the, hopefully, one of the last um, things I do in the basement because there's really no more walls left. Waka waka. <laughs> So, uh, thanks for watching. Sorry I didn't put this on a tripod, but this is my Samsung device, and there's really no time lapse like in the Apple iPod from my previous videos because that would have been cool. But, uh, you know, I might add some lights above here, but it doesn't matter. Hit like, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Ooh, excuse me. And we'll see you in the next video.